Okay, good morning guys. Today I will be introducing you my transportation vehicle for the year and it's here. The Volkswagen Transporter D5. I started this board from my grandparents' parents' house and I didn't have any any like real transportation vehicle back in the day. I just had a Honda Accord sedan and, and then I had a, had to buy a trailer. The problem with that setup was that it was super cold to put your clothes or riding gear on in the trailer in winter time especially to put your <laughs> riding gear you can imagine it minus 20 degrees and wind and everything and you are in the trailer out in the open and you have your bike there and you just try to put your pants on and ooh, that was crazy all right so now i have this t5 transporter from 2005 it's a volkswagen made after the when the adolf guy decided that germans need to move they made volkswagen so since that time volkswagen has made some proper really proper cars in the normal use and then they have this commercial side vans and and the crafter is a little bigger one than this and everything but yeah so yeah this is a 1.9 liter turbo diesel engine and it produces 103 horsepower produced not producing anymore no <laughs> not nowhere near but yeah this uh, this van has had 330 thousand kilometers plus and uh, I have done it like 100,000 kilometers with this and I have had a lot of issues with this. Transmission was broken at some somewhere 280,000 kilometers and then, then the cylinder head cracked at uh, 290,000 and yeah, cheap maintenance. Just oil, put, just pour oil and it will TD, you know, go forward. Not in my case, but yeah, this is my diamond, and yeah. During the fall this year, I had the small issue, small issue of of the windshield wipers not working, and that was driving me crazy because it was raining all the time, and there wasn't no easy fix by Volkswagen. They said it was going to be like 800 euros to fix that stupid thing and eventually I found the relay that was stuck and and replaced from the motherboard of the of the car and and it was it costed me like six euros or something but yeah that's Volkswagen but yeah let's I will show you something inside so basically I have this Kenwood radio installed here and usually you can you can't hear the radio but now it's it's pretty okay usually i just have to listen to the beautiful engine sounds that this diesel tdi small tdi engines make so yeah that's how the interior looks and now let's go to the back basically the uh, the rear part takes like two bikes easily and a little gear because this is the this is the long version. The frame frame of the car is the long long wheelbase version. There is some snow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of different stuff in here. I have two bikes now, and well, then I have the ramp and a, and a wheel stand and a bike stand some tools with me basic tools first aid kit is there and then i have a hanger for my jacket <laughs> all 
all right so here you can see what i have inside here there is a tool box which is which includes some tire irons and stuff like that and then i have my then i have my kamasa tool set with me always and some fuel and in the front i have the bench or or engine stand slash bike stand with me always and i used to i usually hang the strap from the ceiling so i can easily when i put the bike you will see when i put the bike i can easily access them so that is for that Like so, push the bike up here, then I leave it there, and then I just, I usually try to avoid the throttle cable, then I put that there, and that is there. Uh, And you don't have to push too much on the forks down because you will only destroy the oil seals here. Just l let it be like this. It can it can move a little like so. Now it's firmer. It doesn't go anywhere. If one if it goes somewhere, it comes to the fo forward. If we have to like do an emergency braking or anything but you can avoid that by securing the rear end to the middle middle hook so I think this is a great way to tie your bike in the end this is a really nice van small one and if you there is the small issues with all the all the flaws and all the technical stuff that has is in this model series it's pretty common so the t4 version the earlier models than this one it might be a better choice because this t5 has a lot of like small issues like i said the transmission the, the cylinder head and stuff like that so keep those in mind when you are choosing a, your own transporter if you live in the city and you you want a small van that is almost as easy to drive as a normal regular car then transporter would be my choice <laughs>